I'm Nabila Jamal, right here in Bengaluru, bringing you all the latest developments on the hijab controversy that rages on the sixth consecutive day. In fact, I have with me Nolan joining us, uh, as well as Srija from different parts of Karnataka, where we see this kind of uh, standoff and clash between girls wearing the hijab and the college and school managements. Now, this hijab fire only rages on for six consecutive day, where we saw several scenes today as well uh, between students and the management, where uh, it didn't seem like the situation has settled despite much of the deliberations in court. It appears there still lies a confusion on which are the institutions that can allow hijab and whether those institutions that allow hijab, eh, allowed for hijab in the past, must stop now or not. Uh, we're seeing almost a blanket ruling across government institutions where most of the government institutions have gone by the High Court's interim order not allowing hijab. That's leading to several students now being restricted right at the gates right a month before their examinations. Now, we saw several students staging a protest outside the government college in Kodagu, demanding that hijabs be permitted inside college. In Chitradurga, too, we saw similar scenes. A major argument broke out between girls wearing the hijab and police officials. Here are those visuals that really is a telling story. Remember, we're looking at innocent young girls being restricted right at the gates of their colleges and their schools. Even as the Karnataka High Court takes up this case at 2.30 p.m., again, the hearing will continue. A lot of arguments that's been made over the last few days. In fact, just yesterday, on Thursday, the petitioner urged to allow Muslim students to at least wear hijab on Fridays and in the holy month of Ramzan, as banning the hijab is equivalent to banning the Quran. Amid the courtroom showdown there, colleges in Karnataka are also now battling chaos and confusion, clearly as we see in these visuals here, resulting in the postponement of examinations by some colleges that were due to take place in a matter of weeks. Now, meanwhile, Karnataka government minority welfare department has now issued a fresh notification stating that the High Court's proposal of no hijab inside classrooms also applies to minority-run schools until further order. Which means, you remember, minority-run schools always allowed hijab in classes. Now, with the minority department of the Karnataka government saying that this rule also applies to minority institutions, it means that all those minority Muslim schools and colleges which allowed hijab will no more allow for hijab inside the classroom rooms until the court's verdict is out. This only further means that all these innocent kids, girls who were studying all this while will now be stopped right at the gates, will not be allowed to enter classes and possibly their examinations will be a big question mark. Barely about a week's time. Of course, uh, Nolan and Shrija joining me uh, right there. Nolan is at Shimoga, which is a very volatile place. We're looking at uh, tensions only brewing there in Shimoga. Nolan, what's the situation today? A sixth consecutive day. We've seen that there was some kind of commotion in Shimoga. Today, what's the, uh, what's the pulse on ground? Well, Nabila, uh, Chitra Durga and Kodugu, there have been protests over there. Uh, students wearing a hijab are actually not being allowed inside. But in Shivamogha today, things are peaceful. In fact, after the students uh, wearing a hijab went and met the DC and submitted a memorandum, our sources tell us that uh, they had a meeting. During the meeting with the DC, they decided that they would not be coming today uh, to colleges or schools, but from Monday onwards, they would do so. So the situation across Shivamoga at various schools and also colleges, pre-university as well as degree colleges, is extremely peaceful. However, like you rightly mentioned, the issue now is about what the Minority Welfare Department has come out with. The circular was issued on the 16th. Now, in that, uh, Mani Manan, who is the secretary of the department, he says, and he quotes in the circular, the operative part of the Karnataka High Court order. And finally, in Canada, I'm going to translate what he says to English. He says, it's just one sentence, he says, the above High Court order is applicable to residential schools, colleges, Maulana Azad, model English medium schools, coming under the Minority Welfare Department. So basically, even in those schools, uh, hijab, shawls, uh, any sort of religious attire will not be allowed as of now.